I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find equivalent trigonometric ratios when theta is between 0 to 360 degrees for different trigonometric functions. So I will take examples for let us say sine of 300 degrees could be one. We will find all ratios which are equivalent to sine of 30 degrees. We could take cos of, I am just taking some numbers at random, okay, 150 degrees. We could take tan of, let us say, 100 degrees, right? So, likewise, we will take few uh, ratios and then find their equivalent ratio within theta equals to 0 to 360 degrees, right? Now, how to find these equivalent ratios? One thing you should always remember is there could be more than one solution, right? So, we could have one, two, three, even four solutions for each one of them, correct? How to find them? Now, to find equivalent trigonometric ratios, we take help of related acute angles and the cast rule. These two things help us to get the answer. I will show you how. So, let's begin with sine of 30 degrees, rather sine of 300 degrees, right? So when I say sine of 300 degrees, what do I mean? Always this angle, when we are talking about, is in standard position. That means your initial arm is along the positive x-axis and the terminal arm is 300 degrees counterclockwise. That is always, right? So we don't even say that. We just assume it should be said most of the time, okay? So that is the position. So when I say sine of 300 degrees, then I mean this position of principal arm, correct? Now, as you can see here, that we are in quadrant 4, correct? We are in quadrant 4. Now, to find equivalent trigonometric ratios, I said we need to know two things, correct? Two things which are critical are related acute angle and the cast rule, right? So, here, what is the related acute angle? If theta is equals to 300 degrees then what is the acute angle this angle we call it beta is equals to 360 degrees minus 300 degrees correct so in this case it is 60 degrees so first thing we found is the related acute angle so let me write down here related acute angle beta is 60 so first thing find related acute angle so we got beta as our related acute angle the other thing which you need to figure out is the quadrant in which you are, correct? So which is the quadrant? Now in this particular case, as you can see, the quadrant is quadrant 4, correct? So we will write down our quadrant number also. And here, as we saw, quadrant is quadrant 4. Quadrant 4. So when you apply the cast rule, what is cast rule? Cos is positive in quadrant 4. All are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan is positive in quadrant 3. So what do we expect? Sine 300, which is in quadrant 4, should be negative, right? Negative, right? So we get negative. Second, acute angle is 60. Perfect. So we are expecting a negative answer with acute angle of 60. Now, and that is related acute angle. Whenever we say related acute angle, it means what? Related acute angle means angle with horizontal. So let me write down here. Angle with horizontal. Well, this is the only video where I am really explaining everything in details. Related acute angle is with the horizontal. So every angle position which is with horizontal Making an angle of 60 degrees will give us an equivalent trigonometric ratio. Remember that part. So let's make all positions. So we have all these positions. So all these positions will give us equivalent trigonometric ratios. How? We'll figure out now, right? So now what we know here is that all these acute angles for us are 60. That means from the x-axis, whether negative or positive, it is 60 degrees from all this side. Now, we have to only take care of the sign and write down the answers. Sine of 300 is negative. If I consider first quadrant, then I should write what? 
then I should write minus of sine 60 degrees, correct? Since in first quadrant, all are positive, sine is also positive, I need negative answer, so I'll write negative sine 60. Now for sine, it is positive in quadrant 2, I need negative answer, I could write minus sine of, so what is this angle? Where acute angle is 60, the principal angle is 100 and 80 minus 60. You see this angle is 120 degrees, right? So we could do minus sine 120 degrees. Now how about this angle? We could say this angle is 180 plus 60, right? But here sine is already negative. Since sine is already negative, we need not write negative. We get negative answer. So we will write here sine of 180 plus 60. You get the point. 180 plus 60. So let me write 180 plus 60 degrees, okay? I mean degrees here. So that is another answer. So as you can see, to find equivalent trigonometric ratios, we need to find the related acute angle. Once we find that, then we need to find quadrant and then ensure that all combinations with this related acute angle resulting into negative answer is equivalent. I hope you got the idea, right? Well, repeat this once again, and then it'll be absolutely clear. Let's do it for cosine 150 degrees, okay? So 150 degrees is less than 180, perfect. Therefore, we are in quadrant two. That is the position, right? So that is theta value of 150 degrees, correct? Now in this case, what is the acute angle? beta for us is 180 minus 150 that is 30 degrees correct therefore we are expecting equivalent trigonometric ratios which will have 30 degrees as their related acute angle perfect so we have three different positions we'll go with three different positions in this particular video right now one of the answers could be over 30 degrees itself now cause in the second quadrant is negative so cost rule comes into play so we have cost is positive in quadrant 4 and 1 but negative in 2 and 3 so we know here is that for us beta is 30 degrees right and quadrant 2 that means negative answer perfect so let's write down all possible solutions so here one of the solutions should be with 30 degrees in the first quadrant, so we write cos of 30 degrees. Since we did negative answer, we'll write negative. Do you see that? That's equivalent. You can use calculator, check your answer. Now, second will be in the third quadrant. In second quadrant, we have already given. So we have, but in third quadrant, it's already negative. So we need not put negative sign, correct? So we have to add 30 degrees to 180. So this is 180 degrees. We'll add 30 degrees. So it becomes 210. So we get cos of 210 degrees as an equivalent trigonometric ratio. Now how about the last value where the related acute angle is 30 degrees but this angle will be how much? Principal angle will be 360 minus 30 that is 330 degrees. Cos is positive here and therefore we have to write negative cos of 300 degrees. 330 degrees, I'm sorry, 330 degrees. Let me write again. Negative cos of 330 degrees, correct? Since 360 minus 30 is 330, right? So that is how we do it. Now, as an exercise, you can pause the video and solve for tan, okay? This time, let me draw it here. Now, we'll go with the cos rule first. We know all are positive in quadrant 1. Sine is positive in quadrant 2. Tan is positive in quadrant 2. 3 and cosine in quadrant 4. When we say tan of 100 degrees, that means what? This is 90 degrees for us. This is 0 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, right? And 0 or 360, one full circle. 100 means you are somewhere here, correct? Quadrant 2. Now here, what is the acute angle? Let's find the acute angle first. In this case, acute angle, which is the angle with the horizontal should be how much? We know this angle is 100, okay, so this is 100. So that angle will be 180 minus 100, so 80 degrees.
degrees. So we have beta, the acute angle is 80 degrees and quadrant is 2 for us. In quadrant 2, the sine of tan is negative, right? So all three which we took were having negative sign. Okay. So now all the answers for equivalent trigonometric ratios should be such that we have acute angle of, related acute angle of 80 degrees. Okay, one by one, let us consider all the cases. First one, in quadrant one itself, all are positive. We are looking for negative answers. So we just put negative here and then say tan. An acute angle is 80 degrees, right? So that is the angle, 80 degrees. So we get first answer. We have already written tan of 100, which is in quadrant 2. In quadrant 3, what is the angle? In quadrant 3, it is 180 plus 80, right? So this is 180 degrees plus 80 degrees, which is 8 plus 8 is 16, 260 degrees. Okay, so tan is positive here also. So we'll have to write minus tan of 260 degrees. You got it. How about quadrant 4? In quadrant 4, tan is negative, right? So we don't have to write negative sign. So, so the angle here is 360 degrees minus 80, right? So minus 80. So once you take away 80 from 360 degrees, what do you get? So you get 80, right? 16 take away 8 is 8, 280. So we have tan of 280 degrees as another equivalent trigonometric ratio for tan of 100. I hope with this you have understood exactly how to find related acute angles for any trigonometric ratios, correct? Now as an exercise, you can write three equivalent trigonometric ratios for these angles. For example, let's take some positive answers this time. Tan of 120, sine of 120 degrees, tan of, let us say, 200 degrees, and cosine, let it be negative. So we'll take cosine of 240 degrees. Okay, so write down equivalent trigonometric ratios for these primary trigonometric ratios. I hope with the help of this video, the concept is absolutely clear. Basically, we need to find related acute angle and the sign because of cost rule to help us get the correct equivalent trigonometric ratios. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.